to learn Parshat Vayera, just one little insight. Uh, when Avram goes down to the land of Gerar, so Avimelech and his deputy say, this is a very beautiful woman. She's appropriate for the king. They bring her to the king. Now, he doesn't know that she's a married woman because Avram said she's my sister. She said he's my brother. They didn't know. That night, he had intentions that didn't work out. And he's informed by the angel that this woman is a married woman. And Avimelech is terrified. And this is what he says to Avram. What do you want from me? He said that she is my sister. She said he's my brother. With the purity of my heart, and the cleanliness of my hand, I did this. And God says, I know that you did it with a pure heart, but you must give him back. So the next morning, Abimelech goes with tremendous, legitimate anger. He says, how could you do this to me? Things that one may never do, you almost caused me to sin. How could you do such a crime? And Ram justified himself by saying, Kia Marti, for I said, Rakan Yurat Alakim Bamakom Hazeh, Varigunio Dvarishti. And I said, I was afraid there's no fear of the Lord in this place, and you'll murder me on account of my wife. Now he's saying this to a man who gave him sheep and cattle and he goats and she goats, all kinds of gifts. Why would he say such tough things? So I want to try and answer this with two anecdotes or a few which happened to me. I was born in Vienna. Uh, as a young boy, we moved to America, but my family was in Vienna. We returned many a time to visit relatives. And when I was nine years old, uh, this is going back, albeit I'm 27 years old, this goes back well over uh, 50 years. When I was nine years old, I was one winter walking down an icy cobblestone street in Vienna, and I slipped on the ice, and I knocked over an old man, and he landed in a uh, drift of, eye, of snow. He gets up, he picks me up, dusts off my shoulders, and he says to me, Grüß Gott, God be with you. And I was impressed by this uh, menschlichkeit of this old man, because, you know, in the Bronx, if you knock over someone, you're dead. And uh, this man was very friendly about this. That very summer, yeah, 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 I was on a streetcar, uh, a tram, and I got off in Steffenplatz, which is the main hub in Vienna, and this woman comes running after me, flailing her arms like a preacher at her union. I don't know what she wants. And she's running after me and she's calling me and I keep running away from her. She keeps running after me. Finally, she catches up to me and unwittingly on the streetcar, I had dropped a hundred shillings. And she's returning to me my lost money. And I was very, very grateful to her. And not only did she return my money, but because of that, she had to now wait for a new streetcar and pay double car fare. And I was again impressed by the menschlichkeit of the Viennese people. And then it occurred to me, this was an old man, this was an old woman. I was a nine-year-old boy. And I'm thinking to myself, who knows what this woman did during the war? I doubt she was a ski instructor. And who knows what this man did? Maybe he was the one who murdered my grandparents. And then all of a sudden I understood what Avram Avinu was saying. You can be the most gentle and cultured and educated people and pick me up when I fall down and return my money. But if there's no fear of heaven, I fear for my life. And that's the message of Rambi Kreef to all of us. Shabbat Shalom.